Hey guys, it's Max, Plant Tech Review here, and I'm going to be reviewing today Word for Mac. I have Microsoft Office 2010. It's not the newest version, I think they just came out with 11, but I also have Pages, which is the Apple software of Word, and I actually prefer that over Word, surprisingly, because the Word, I think, just runs slow on Mac. Um, let's see what I'm updated here, too. Uh, I'm on Azure. Update. Yeah, I'm running a uh, 10 point Mac OS X 10.58. So it's not the latest, but it's pretty late for the new releasing, whatever you want to say. But alright, so um, this is Word. One thing immediately I don't like about it opening is in the normal like Microsoft Office 2003 that everyone uses, they have you know, like the little format bars like up here that show you like the underline, the font stuff. This doesn't open with it and that really bugs me. So you actually have to go to view, toolbars, formatting, which it's already checked for some reason. So you go back, you have to select it again. And there it is. You have to select it, something for it to go on the line like that. That's just, ugh, it really annoys me. And um, all right, so then you have that. There's some cool stuff in Word though. That's new, that's different than the old ones. Like they have these little, um, I don't know, menus here that you can pull down. Like document elements, has like all these different forms of, I don't know, templates, stuff you can use, quick tables, which are very helpful, charts. I, you know, I just don't find myself using those that much. I, most of the time I just wanna like type something, like an essay for school or something. And it's just, it's really slow. Like if you listen to like my um, uh, sound of the keys and then you look at the type, it's kind of slow, like it doesn't feed back. And, but, um, I mean, there's a lot more new fonts than typical stuff you would expect to be updated in the new Microsoft Office, but other than that, I wasn't that happy. I'll show you, I'll show you pages here. Pages is very good because it's pretty much formatted more directly for the Mac other than Word. And, um, it's just kind of like Microsoft Office. You type, it feeds back pretty well. It doesn't start with Time New Roman, though. Starts with Helvetica, which is annoying. But yep, yeah, it's got all the normal stuff. It actually has some of the stuff that New Word has, like all these little table menus and stuff. So I'd give my overall rating if I had to rate Microsoft Word 2010 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like a 5 or a 6. And if I were to rate this pages, I know this isn't really what I was supposed to be talking about, but probably give it like 7 or 8. So uh, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.